I have taken care of your problem with the looters in the tomb. Ah, then I'll assume my men are dead. Even so, you have done us a great service. Their loss is your gain, I suppose. I have completed my task, then. Yes, sir. You won't find a better bargain. Come back any time. Acolyte, I come with a message. Overseer Tremel can teach you the ways of the Sith, but not all of the skills. For that, there are specialists in the Academy. Overseer Tremel wishes you to meet them and learn what you can. I have a few moments I can spare. Make the time. This is not optional. You will find the best trainers in the Academy's archive. You are expected there shortly. Hold on a moment. Let me get a look at you. Hmm. So you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. Are you saying I haven't earned my way? Please. Everyone knows what Tremel is doing. If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, he might have had a chance. But now, too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Remrin. Let's just kill her and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Torgus. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. You're not very good with people, are you? You're not funny, just pathetic. And you've been warned. Coming, Dolgus? Be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other. But accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? Take a look. I've already blooded it. What are you doing, Father? I only just got my war blade, and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, Father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here on her way to becoming Sith, if she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, Father, but I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. Don't mind her, she's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? He just introduced himself to me. If he didn't attack, he must not fully comprehend the threat you represent. Good, good. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with false sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot 
eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. So, you're an elitist snob? You say that like it's a bad thing. It's the Sith way. Only the best, only the most pure, should be good enough. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. I will handle it. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you've passed judgment on the prisoners. Show no mercy. These new recruits are worthless. Braggarts, children, slaves, not even a pure blood among them. Sith blood's not everything. Lord Thrain dislikes my apprentice's privileged attitude. Then he will never be Sith. A pity. He seemed strong. Not strong enough for the tombs. I have seen to that. One more cheer from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Sure. 